fine friends and companions. Today we're at the Bay Area Renaissance Festival. As some of you may know, I'm a frequent attendee of the Florida Renaissance Festival, and this is my first time at the Bay Area Renaissance Festival. Fare thee well, lords and ladies. Let us travel back in time. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Welcome to your humble little town. Thank you. What's the name of this town? It is Pizzawa. Good morning, my friends. It's that time again for the Bay Area Renaissance Festival. We have food, fun, music, entertainment, and people galore. We're waiting for you. Here we are. We're inside. Can't hide from me. I always see hidden ninjas. I see the ladies, I see the maypole. Are they going to dance? I'm sure at some point. It's two o'clock and we've got Pictus on the tower stage. I love being greeted with some sweet bagpipe music and drums. We found the Royal Flagship Tavern. Looks like this is gonna be where the pub sing's gonna be held later and we will definitely be there for that. The Wheel of Death. I just love the atmosphere at Renaissance festivals and I love the smells like incense and smoke, music and cheering everywhere. The Pirates Pub, this looks like the place for us. We're gonna go all in and get some Gaelic ale. Gaelic ale? Cheers. I like it. Now Sam, this is your first Renaissance festival ever. It is, it's a, it's a lot more than I expected. Yeah, it's really cool, right? I have been going to Renaissance festivals for like 20 years, but mostly the Florida Renaissance Festival. And it's cool to be at a new one for the first time. And this is my first time? Yeah, and I don't know where anything is, because I know the one at Quiet Waters Park very well, but this one, I don't know where anything is. We have the map, but it's more fun to just wander and explore. I like the smell. Yeah, I love the smell. It's like fire and incense and food and mmm. <laughs> I think we need to explore. Yeah. <laughs> lovely, lovely flower bush. We're enjoying the day great. How are you? Oh, it's beautiful. The sun was out, so I was photosynthesizing, but now I'm having clouds. Now there's nothing to eat. No, but I've already bloomed. So. Oh, beautiful, beautiful bloom. Plus, I put on some extra leaves since the holidays. It happens yeah, to the no, best of us. To it yeah, <laughs> maybe the shade will help. Yeah, <laughs> Looks like there's some hubbub going on at the gypsy stage. sword swallowing. Wow. Oh, I see the maypole is happening. I get to do the maypole. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. You're welcome. I always want to do this, but... We're encouraged to frolic. Gotta be a Game of Thrones bar. It's just yeah. required. The Hawk and Bird Show at Renaissance Festivals I've been to has always been my favorite thing. And there's one at 4.15 today, so we'll be sure to catch that. Play D&D &D all day? Oh, if we had gotten here earlier. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. We're gonna split a ye old burger, get some sustenance, and keep time traveling. <laughs>
Oh, he's so close. <laughs> Nightwing Birds of Prey show. We're just gonna have a look at the news of the realm. Just read a little paper, you know? It's always good to have a nice, nice read of the local paper. Let's see what's in the old paper today. Hmm. Oh, daily royal events. <laughs> oh, race for the rattle. <laughs> Pirates galley. Oh, the pub sing. Let's see if we can make that live mermaids. Oh boy. Mmm. Love a good match. Love a good no match. Uh, we worked with a couple of really, really awesome wildlife rehabilitators, uh, as well uh, as operating our very, very own uh, conservation organization. Uh, that organization is called the One World Rapture Conservancy. This is Kasai, everybody. Go ahead. The Kasai. Now, Kasai is an African auger buzzard with raptor conservation. Back in the early 90s, I worked at a place called the World Bird Sanctuary, a place founded by a good friend and mentor of mine, a gentleman by the name of Walter Crawford, who's one of the most common birds of prey here in North America. Now, that's where the similarities of these two birds end. How many of you have ever seen a red tail alongside the road, up in a tree, maybe on a sign? We all have, right? Because the red tail, is actually Beautiful. what's called an A to B hunter. They will sit on that high perch, they will wait for their prey to move. They actually hunt in a very, very unique manner. These guys will actually go up really, really high in the sky. They will catch what's called a thermal wind. You'll commonly see vultures, eagles, and stuff like that soaring high overhead on those thermals. Now, they have incredible eyesight, much like all birds of prey. <laughs> now, um, needless to say, once they spot their prey, these guys do something pretty darn interesting. What they will actually do is fold their wings and fall out of the sky just like a falcon. Now when they get down to an altitude of about in captivity and raised by hand, they know how to do that stuff. All right, she's got the lure. The giant of the lure. Woo! This is Thorn, everybody. Go ahead and say hello to Thorn. Now, oh, Thorn is a male Harris's hawk. He is just about getting ready to go into his full adult plumage. Beautiful. In the bird of prey world, females are up to two thirds larger than their male Har uh, than their male counterpart. Now, as I said, this guy is just oh, like his. Wow! <laughs> this guy right here is what they call an F2. He's a second generation from the wild. Interesting. His uh, grandmother came out of western Arizona, his grandfather out of southwest Texas. Now, when I first put He's this bird in the show, he was eight weeks old. All right? He's so That's cute. That's a little early for Harris's hawk. So what you do is you, you twist them open. Oh. It's very pretty. <laughs> Basically what you have to do is open up each individual ring. I can't really do these, these are steel. Oh my gosh. I don't want to break nails doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so you open them up and you weave them through each other and then you close them with a slight twist. 
So you don't pull so them don't apart, open. you twist them open like this, and then wow. you twist them closed. Oh my, that's painstaking work. It is very gruesome, that's why we have lots of you know, so streaming accounts. <laughs> I used to a long time ago, um, and then I decided that I didn't want to be insane. Right, fair, so, fair. There are, there are companies that make rings for us now, with yeah. great machinery and with great precision, so I can order them at any gauge, any diameter, of almost any material from you know, steel to brass, silver to gold, titanium. Um, wow. What was the other one they'll do? The is crazy stain stainless and brass. Yes, this is stainless and brass. That's an outfit right there. How would you like that, Sam, if I wore that? I think it would look amazing. I do too! I will wear this one. The green one. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I think that would look amazing on you. $500 bargain. That's a bargain. So Sam will wear this, and I'll wear this. I think would be quite a pair. Something's going on at the Viking encampment. Can we go in? They all She's so afraid of me. She they see people run in fear from Rory. The unknown. The dog of Doris. Rorik the unknown. I am a famous Viking. I see the Vikings are having some drama here. Some Viking drama. <laughs> super, super awesome look. I, I mean, on, so just ignore, that ignore the glasses, but like the furs and the horns. Like, you're... Have, like, listen, this is a Megalodon tooth, okay? All right, yeah, it's a you win. All right, you I, win, Renfest. I, I, I pop that. I can, I can see that. Yeah. Okay. There is a kids' area too, full of games and merriment for children. So if you come here with your kids, there's, you know, stuff for them to do. Giants have to duck down in there. We don't have any kids with us, so we're not gonna go in there, but just so you know, I've seen kids, strollers, people of all ages, enjoying every Renaissance festival I've ever been to. So I would say it's fun for all ages. Just know it's weird. Fairy garden. Who doesn't love a fairy garden? Look at all these tiny miniatures. Fairies living their best fairy lives. You have to get down, down on their level to see the fairies. This is so cool. It's like a tiny, tiny, tiny world of fairies. There's even an area here for weddings and vow renewals. I've seen a few weddings at Renaissance festivals, well like the after party of the wedding, walking around and it seems really cool. It's getting closer to the end of the day and you know what that means at a Renaissance festival. It's time for the joust. The royal joust. <laughs> Joust with. Here we go. Thank you. 
Oh, wow, well, you're in for a treat. Court! Best of us, court! Over here! Oh, over what's over your here. name, sir? Now! Now! Sorry. Over here! Over here! Over here! Court! Do you not understand what I'm yelling over here? Arise! Arise! So, Lord and ladies, you must know that today is Sam's very first visit ever. This one. So we must greet him as is our custom. Are we ready? Yes. Hello, Virgin! This has been an experience. <laughs> Huzzah! How'd you like your first Renaissance Festival? It was a lot to uh, a lot to digest, take in, a lot to process. It was definitely a fun experience. Yeah, good. Um, would come again. 1010 would come again. <laughs> for me, I've been visiting Renaissance Festivals for so long. I absolutely love them. Um, it was really cool seeing a different Renaissance Festival, seeing how they do things on a different scale. This one is smaller than the Florida Renaissance Festival, so some things were like slightly different, slightly smaller. I know there are Renaissance festivals all over the country and all over the world. I know it's not as big of a phenomenon in some other countries as it is in the US, but here, like every major, at least state and many major cities have Renaissance festivals. It was a lot bigger than what I was picturing in my head. Yeah. Um, no one made me go on a stage. So <laughs> I, I was a bit anxious about that. Yeah, Sam but. doesn't like that kind of thing. I love it. So like, if they're like, we need a volunteer, I'm like, me, 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 please. But of course I never get picked because I'm so eager. But and Sam's like, like mm -hmm. And then I always get picked. <laughs> and you start pretending. And you'd be like, oh no, please don't pick me. <laughs> and I need to be like, please pick me. Yeah. But then, they, but then, but still then they will me. pick you. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But you did get the royal welcome from the king and queen and the whole royal court. I did. I'm sorry about that, but it had to be yeah. done. Now you are officially initiated into the world of Renaissance festivals. <laughs> <laughs> I was thought it was gonna be worse. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Wasn't that bad. Everybody was great. Everybody was fun. Yeah. We had a wonderful time. We'll definitely be back. I picked up this English accent while I was here, so I think I'm gonna keep it. What I really like about Renaissance festivals is I love the time period, and obviously it's anachronistic, like it's not all historically accurate. There's fantasy and cosplay and medieval fairies. stuff, fairies, Renaissance, there's stuff from all sorts of time periods, but there's like a feel, like just like an old timey, yeah. fair festival feel in the air. I like the music, the smells. Uh, just seeing everyone in the different costumes, it was really fun. Yeah, it's really cool to see, just like at like conventions, how creative people yeah. get with yeah. their garb. So it's called costumes in like costume setting, it's called cosplay in conventions, here it's called garb. Oh, okay. So you'll want to know that lingo, garb, when you're in historical garb. And then there are people in costume also where it's more like fantasy, it's, it's a whole nuanced thing. I don't know a ton about it, but I know the basics. I do want a sword now. Yeah, I think next year we should come dressed in garb. What do you think? I reckon. What do you guys think? I think we look good. I think we'd look really cool. What do you guys think? I don't know. What am I doing? I don't know. I also know there's an Orlando Renaissance Festival that takes place in December. We missed it because we were traveling. I was in England and all that, but maybe next year we'll get to check that out too. You mean this year? Oh yeah. This year, 2020. 2020. Oh boy, time is a wibbly wobbly thing. I mean, 
you could say in 400 years. Woo! If you're new to the Super Enthused channel, please subscribe. We do all sorts of fun adventures. Woo! So with that, we're out of here. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll see you for the next adventure. And until then, fare thee well. And stay, stay enthused. Huzzah! Huzzah. Huzzah!